Hi everyone, this is Liddy Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an automatic writing from the DM to the DF. We'll see what the energies in the collective are today. Um, I'll be pulling some cards on this to also get a sense of what's going on in the connection, what's going on with the karmic, and also some messages from the guides as well for you all. Okay, there are some um, spots left for the meter guides. One, if you do want to um, take that class, it starts this weekend. It is um, a prerequisite for SRT, but in that class, we basically do, um, it's a beginner's level for beginners to mediate, intermediate level for psychic ability and mediumship. So we learn how to hone our gifts, to improve them and to give psychic readings, that kind of thing. Okay, so if you're interested in that, you can go to my website. The links are below. Look for live readings and courses and um, you can sign up for that one. Okay, so let's get into this reading right now. DM to DF. I know I haven't been the best person and I still have so much progress to make. But I've always been here for you, DF, and I hope you know that you can count on me to keep a space in my heart for you. You've taught me so much and I wanted to thank you for all the love and light that you've sent to me and showed me so unconditionally. I feel now that I have learned so much and some of the basic ways to improve myself so that I won't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. I need your love still and I really appreciate you more now than ever before. I took you for granted and thought that whatever I did would be fine and that it would be enough for you to stay with me and hang by my side. In a way, I was enabling you in neglecting yourself and you were enabling me in my bad behavior. I want to let you know that I'm sorry and I wish I could make it up to you in some way. From now on, I want us to have an equal exchange of energies between us, even though we may not be able to meet up in the treaty. I'll be putting in the work and doing my part in sending energy to the ring as much as I can. The karmic is still around and I have to make a decision there. There aren't, they aren't making things easy for me and I've been hiding my feelings for you from them and trying to keep things stable as much as possible. I don't feel strong and courageous enough to take a leap of faith right now, but I am working on it. I just hope that we can stay in contact and trigger each other to do the work that the divine sent us to do no matter what happens between us. Let's put our egos aside. And I want to let you in on a project that I'm doing, as I feel that this will bring us closer together like never before. Please say yes to me once again. Love, Sean, Axel, Jessica, Gregory, Diana, and Paul. All right, guys, so we have a letter from DM to DF here. Seems like the DM is coming through with like an offer to have this project together or some sort of, um, some sort of idea that they have, they wanna, they want to run it by you. They want your approval on it or some help with it. I feel here also that it's kind of like an excuse to come closer to you without committing but you know they, they're trying to take whatever they can get from you right um it's up to you df if you want to let them in on some of that energy but i feel that the dm is coming closer and it feels like they can't do without some of that um support and light that you always give so they're always going to be there coming back for more and uh it seems like they have kind of awakened a little bit here and so we're going to go in with the cards and see what this all means for us. Okay, let's go in. All 
right, so I'm going to take the Gentle Heart Tarot deck for this. Just to check the connection between the DM and the affair. Let's see if what the letter said was true. Let's see. And um, Made for Love also has her SRT classes coming up for the following month, starting in April. So if you are interested in SRT, you can sign up for that as well. Go to madeforlove.com. It is a made and a four, letter four and love, L-U-V. Okay. I'll put a link to that below as well. It is actually on my community tab, so you can go check that out. All right, so let's see. Okay, we have some cards. Ooh. Oh my God, guys. Look at what flew out. Wow. That is interesting. We got a king of wands making a declaration of love here. All right, so when we have the king of wands, it's not male, female. It's just a person who is in the energy of the king of wands, right? Someone who has a lot of enthusiasm for you. Someone who has a lot of fire for you. And we have this Ten of Cups coming out. So it's like they want to make a big move here. This is a DM that wants to make a big, big move. Wants to offer something solid. So could be in the form of a project. Could be in the form of engagement, marriage, a proposal. Um, but they definitely want to make it long term. For some of you, it can be like a truce like a peace offering, a long-term friendship that will never die, something like that, that they want. And, you know, some people come and they ask me, oh, what does it mean, the union, right? Um, the union doesn't always have to be physical, two people living together. It can also be working together on something for the divine um, on a regular basis, etc. I mean, everybody sees the union differently. Um but there's definitely a move towards union here. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, I feel them trying to step in and keep keeping that door open. Okay. We have a ten of crystal, so they're telling you that they still have a lot of burdens on their shoulders, and this is representative with their job, um, their responsibilities, and also with the karmic or their family. So they still have a lot of burdens, but they're trying to make this move here for UDF. They really want this to be done something that cannot be undone they want to do right we have a two of diamonds so there is still some issues up in the air and um what we see here is that your person is trying to find balance they're trying to be a little bit more resourceful without you and they're trying to be more flexible so it's like they're trying to get be more independent um stronger to show you that they have improved and to show they that show you that they can be there for you and not always you being there for them. So we have some Capricorn energy here. So they're fighting, they're, they're going for their goals. They're really being ambitious here. And they want to show you that they have, they have improved, they're more disciplined now. We have a two of swords in reverse. So it's all about um, them trying to make a decision, and I feel that the DF here is making a decision as well. Um, they're not sure about the decision that they have to make between the DF and the karmic, between the DF and their jobs. Uh, I mean, so many things here. But um, this is, you know, the Libra energy, and we feel here that it is um, giving a little bit of confusion, but the divine is going to reveal something to them and i feel for some of them it's going to be in a dream form and they'll finally click and put the dots together and they will see oh my god how could i have not seen that before and they they will see the df for who they truly are and they will see the comic for who they truly truly are and i feel this is a big awakening coming for the dm here for a very very big um awakening here it's kind of going to be a little shock to their system because they're coming through for the DF here a little bit, but they, they, they have underestimated this part. All right. They've underestimated the divine. Right, let's go in a little bit further. Let's see what's happening with the karmic and also um, this relationship one month from now. So this is a Shira Machete deck. 
I like Shane Lafferty. Come on. Ooh, what do we have? We have an Eight of Swords, so we have some self-sabotage here going on with the DF. Okay, we have the Hangman in reverse also. Okay, so with this Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, yes. Um, we have some Gemini energy, so it's like you're not sure what to do. You feel like one day you're feeling, oh, let's do this. And the next day you're feeling, oh my God, I don't know if this is the right choice. So there's a lot of like inner turmoil, right? You feel like there's so many different things going on and like your world is like out of your control. Um, but what Spirit is saying here is that this is how you feel. It's not necessarily this way, okay? And they're saying you can come out of it because the guides will show you um, they'll point you in the right direction. Some of this is in your in your head. Some of this is influence from like negative entities and interference from people who do not want the two of you to be together. So spirit is warning you about that. And it is also coming from the karmic energy who is trying to send you like negative energy, trying to stop you from being in union with this DM right here. We have the hangman in reverse. So it's all about the confusion and all of that and uh, this is also coming from the dm as well so all three parties are kind of like confused and not sure what to do but there is some sort of protection and divine intervention happening right now um showing you the way giving you hints and it feels like the dm is taking the hints and so is the df um, I'm feeling here that the karmic is trying to stall things, trying to avoid this um, coming together of the two parties, okay? And there's going to be a lot of emotional turmoil and some, you know, victimization and uh, guilt tripping, all of that on the part of the karmic here. All right, one month from now in this connection. Ooh. What do we have? A five of wands. And we have a king of pentacles. I'm going to just pull these out. Okay. Ooh. All of these came out at the same time. So we have this five of wands here. Because we said one month from now, what's what's happening? So there's going to be some sort of like uh, challenges still. It's still progressing. You know, it's not a perfect match. It's not a perfect thing. So there's going to be like a little bit of conflict. Maybe some tension between the um, karmic as well the DM and the DF, uh, maybe the karmic is going to find out about some of the things that the DM is doing and they're not going to be happy about that. They'll probably contact the DF or um, there's something that's going to be revealed here and there's going to be some, you know, a little bit of arguments or, you know, ego, ego show because we have this Leo card right here. We also have this King of Pentacles. So um, it seems like the DM is going to be on top of their game, it seems, especially when it comes to their finances, their health. They are trying to really take care of all of that. And um, I feel here that they will be more in this Virgo energy where they feel more, um, they feel like they have mastered the art of business and they'll be more disciplined and stuff. So they want to show you that they can provide, right? In the case of, um, them making that leap of faith, they want to show you that they will be able to provide for you. And there's also a part here where I feel that they want to show you that they can be there for you, they want to keep you safe, and they want you to be able to rely on them. Now, we have this Ten of Swords here, and what I feel from this is that there's still an issue with like mental anxiety. There's an underlying issue of um, maybe like depression for your person. And so this is where they will always have to be on guard. And I feel you might be helping them with this. Uh, it seems like this is something that they will have to work on. I'm getting a lot of uh, Gemini energy in this, um, in this deck right here. Okay. So your person might be Gemini or has that Gemini energy around them. So they're counting on you still for some, for some help with their uh, issues, their mental issues. And it seems like you will be helping them and you will be showing them your world, your uh, 5D world that they had little or no knowledge about. And this is going to help them to get better. It's going to help them to see things from a different perspective. 
and it's also going to help the two of you come closer with whatever project or um, commitment that's going to happen here. All right, let's get some messages from the guides about this connection. Tell us what we need to do in this connection, Spirit, or what do we need to pay attention to? We need to pay attention to our soul craft. All right, so we have some beautiful sacral chakra and solar plexus energy here. We have a little bit of root chakra energy. So they're saying be careful about your manifestation. And there seems to be a new beginning coming for the two of you. This is number 10, which vibrates as something being renewed or something totally new that you guys have not tried before. So there's something that you haven't thought of the person thought of it or vice versa and it's going to be new for one of you guys and it's it's kind of going to um cleanse the whole connection here okay and this came about because of your manifestation and their manifestation as well divine intervention also we have joy oh my gosh uh joy crossing so there's going to be some joy coming back in your life and you're going to enjoy really not lovely moments with your person here with your dm um some jokes some fun times um, maybe you guys are going to be meet up or have more conversations more frequently um, you might put some some past hurts on the back burner and just decide to wipe the slate clean this is what i'm hearing what else for? we have the soul family this person is part of your soul family that we know and there's going to be like you discovering that this person has links um like you're going to discover that you are more divine than you think and that even you, the two families are linked in some way so this is something that's interesting here we have number nine which means that some of you will be starting a family with this person whether it's an adoption or a birth or it could also be in a be in a form of um, the family coming out of a project, and when I mean family, it's, it could be like a network coming out of this project. So you guys are maybe going to share networks or start a whole new network from whatever it is you're going to be doing together. Either way, this seems like there's some sort of move from the DMs part towards you. Um, well, this is 2022, right? So this is the year of union for most of you. So you will be seeing some spectacular moves from the DM or the DF here. All right. So I'm going to leave you with this uh, reading right here. If you do like these readings, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me. And I will bring you more of these. Love and light. Take care.